Well, that's take two because I forgot to push record the first time I ran through this. So, um, cool. <laughs> let's, let's do this again. Hello, my name is Chris Pulliam. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to discuss how we can convert continuous variables into discrete variables. Uh, this is a pretty important technique for helping, uh, helping you to understand maybe underlying patterns within the data or even simplifying the data um, by applying categories to certain bins within your data set. Uh, bins are essentially the buckets that we will put the data in um, and then we can then apply labels to each of those buckets to help you understand the frequency of, of certain bins within your data set. And so let me demonstrate that in this notebook. Here we start off the same way we start off all of our notebooks. We, we set up the environment. So we're going to use pandas and numpy for the data analysis and then seaborn and matplotlib for data visualization. Um, we execute that cell. Next, we will uh, build a sample data set. In this case, I'm modeling some attendance. We might want to track based on day or, or whatever variable we have, but this is just to allow us to apply the techniques that I'll discuss in this video. Um, but I, I challenge you to think about how this might fit in your domain um, as, as you watch this. And so uh, we have attendance. So let me, let me show you what this data looks like. If you were to plot a histogram of attendance, uh, you see that we have a normal distribution where the mean attendance is 50. It sort of spans between you know, roughly 30 and 80, and that's consistent with the normal distribution that we're sort of sampling from to build this data set. Um, again, the setup is not critical to understanding uh, the tools that we're gonna discuss. But let's say we wanna understand or we wanna categorize um, high versus low. So we don't wanna necessarily look at all the numbers, but we want to just get a sense of how many times we were high versus low. Um, we would do that using a method called uh, pandas.cut, pd.cut, and that you pass in your data, you apply your bins, and then you can also pass in labels to apply to those different bin uh, categories. So let's say our bins are um, zero, uh, zero to 50, so that might be our low, and then 50 to 100, so we have three values and each bin would be sort of the middle space between those values. Um, and let's apply labels. And so in this case, we have two we would need to apply. One would be low, which is between zero and 50. And the other would be high, which is between 50 and 100. Um, and so let's pass in our next, uh, our attendance data. We pass in our attendance. We set bins equal to bins, labels equal to labels. And with that, you see that we now have uh, a new variable um, where we have created these categories, low and high. Let's add this to our data frame. So let's just call this uh, two bins. Add this, set that there, and display the first five rows. And you see when the attendance is below 50, it's low. When it's above 50, we get a high um, label. And that's consistent with this here. There is a, a, a similar technique called Q cut, uh, which is really appropriate for when you may not know the exact number or you want to take a um, slices based on the quantile percentages. So let's say we want to slice uh, the first 10% of the data or the middle 50% or the upper 90%. You can actually cast in that fraction and it will automatically calculate and return that data out for you. And so Let's look at that. We'll call these Q bins, quantile bins. And let's say we want to bin uh, 0 through uh, 33. Uh, so like the bottom third of the data, and then maybe the middle third, so 33 to 66, and then the upper third, uh, 66 to 1. So you can see I'm passing in um, a, a fractional piece between 0 and 1, and it will calculate those values for me. Let's call this value Q bins, or not Q bins, uh, Q labels. And so we will label it, um, in this case, we pass in a list, low, medium, and high. Um, we do that. We pass our data into the actual method where we have df.attendance. Um, Q is the, is the bin, uh, bin parameter, so Q equals like Q bins, um, labels is the same. So labels equals Q labels. 
and we run this, you see that we now have medium, high, and low. Let's add this to our data frame. We call this three labels, I'm sorry, uh, three bins for consistency. And we'll show the first five rows again using the other head. And now we have created now two features, one, two bins, another three bins. And let's plot the data so that you can get a sense of why we might wanna do this. Um, but first let's do, let's calculate the values or the, the uh, frequency of these various categories. So if we look at a DF.3 bins and we pass, uh, let's do value counts. You can see that we have our three categories, low, high, medium. Um, and if we normalize it just by passing normalize equals true, we see that we're roughly around 33%. It's not exact. Um, if we had a larger sample, we probably would get closer to the proper uh, proportions, but this is really close. And this is why it could be really nice to get a sense of um, maybe some of the demographics or other features that could be a little bit um, masked in the, in the numerical data. But when you create these categories, you get nice summaries from it. We could take a summer approach with the two bins. And you see that we're getting close to 50-50, not quite there. But as we increase sample size, we would, we would uh, approach that value. But nonetheless, this gives you a nice sense of the distribution of the data um, from this sort of categorical point of view. Something else you might wanna do is plot the data. So let's plot a histogram of, of these data and then uh, see the effect of the bins on the histogram. And so if we pass in, uh, make a subplot where we are plotting um, all the data, uh, let's make a, a three plot subplot. And we will set this equal to PLT. So this is from the matplotlib uh, library, uh, pass subplots. We want uh, three columns. And let's say our first one is a seaborn.histplot. Um, and this takes in data equals equals df, we will make our y parameter um, attendance. We will set the axis equal to axis one. So this was just plot on the first panel of the data. Um, and that should render. Um, so you can see our distribution here in axis one. Um, the x axis is just a count of each of the values. So we expect our distribution to be um, identical to what we started off up here. Okay, so let's make two other plots where you can see how we split the data. So we'll make this subplot two. So this will plot on the middle panel and then subplot three, which will plot on the final panel. And all we're gonna do is pass in a, the hue parameter, which will, which will map colors to these bars um, and sort of filter it by the categories. So we'll pass in two, um, two bins here. And then at this point, we'll pass in Q equals three uh, bins. And so now you can see um, how the, the different distributions are impacted uh, based on the, the, the categories that we've mapped onto this. So this, again, can give you a really good idea of some of the underlying patterns or proportions um, based on whatever categories and maybe make the data a little bit more understandable um, as you attempt to explain this to key stakeholders or even understand the data yourself. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, if you want to come back and be notified, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.